Hey friends, welcome to the part one of this certification. Click business analyst. Now, what is this certification and who should do it? See, primarily BI consultant should definitely do it. So we are referring to this certification, the business analyst one. This is the basic one. You can start with this. Okay. Uh, certifications will always help you. See, if you are from a BI background, it will it will be easy for you to pick it up but even if you are from a business analyst background you can still pick it up because you must be involved in data analysis and then now let's look at prerequisites so you should have some practical experience and then you should understand dimension measures so that i will anyways explain uh, while we cover the questions i will explain all of these things even if you don't have experience that is still okay. Uh, my content will like, cover all of those and understand user experience, design best practices. Okay, we will cover all of these. And these are the resources. So, see, there is one uh, free, if you see this free uh, practice question link, you can use this also to practice. Plus, you can use the questions that are there in this playlist. Because this playlist questions are actually questions from the past and that will improve your chances of passing the certifications. Now these instructor led trainings and etc. You don't have to do it man. You, you just go through the videos on this channel that will explain the concepts. You don't require a special course. If you still want to do it, go for Udemy. In Udemy you will see some cheaper courses for 400 rupees or 500 rupees. Do those courses. Okay. So usually I try to tell people don't spend money in learning, spend money in your certification, the certification fees, you know, the, you, you, sometimes you get a discount, but there is no other go. You have to pay that fees. If your company sponsors it, well and good, you are lucky. If they don't sponsor it, that does not mean you should not certify man. You should go for your personal excellence, even if you have to pay from your own pocket. Okay. That is point one. Now, there are other certifications in click also like data architect sys admin sas business analyst sas data architect so we, we are not covering those in this playlist i will post other playlist okay now the thing is what are the topics man what do we need to cover see this identifying requirements ability to identify requirements 30 percent your design skills 24 percent preparing and loading data 14 percent application development 32 percent a bulk of the scenarios will come from this topic basically what it means is you have to be a good developer you should be able to build click applications you should have excellent skills there second you need is you should be very well versed with understanding the requirements like given a set of requirements determine click sense product capabilities to deliver a solution like how would you deliver a solution to meet a requirement okay then uh, discuss the needs of business university requirement gathering means you talk to business and understand what are their current pain points what is it they are looking for on a day-to-day -day basis business analyst work is bottoms up you talk to the lowest level people because you are trying to serve the lowest level people okay so we saw the topics that is required to go through now we will cover questions linked with those topics only but before that hit the subscribe button and you can also click the link in the description become a member what member cloud kernel or cloud ninja if you have small amount of money become a cloud kernel member if you have more money and you are looking to clear advanced certifications become a ninja member cloud ninja member. simple now see you need to be plugged in so subscribe because we will keep posting many more such content which will help you with your study for the certification. This is the first question. Okay. 
so you can pause read it sometime people say hey you are not allowing us to read and you are speaking boss the key is you pause i cannot i cannot show this question and keep mum for 5 minutes the video will become very long and it will be boring for people suppose some bank suppose dives bank came and they say we have customers across the globe we are global bank but major customers are in germany so they are saying when you create a filter option no you show germany first because my major customers are in germany and then you show other countries but when you are showing other countries it should be alphabetically sorted alphabetically sorted like how like this you show germany first because my major customers are in germany so it will be easy for them to filter their own data and then show other countries in alphabetical order alphabetical means first starting with a then with b then with c like that these are in alphabetical order okay how should you do it first two options are so ridiculous the question is not talking about chart did they say what visualization they want to use no then why will we force and say a we will use a chart we should not do it okay got it see now c and d they are telling you to make use of data manager now what is data manager see if you want to connect to a data source see people who are not from bi world so normally what happens we have bi application here you see this this is your bi application what is bi application something like click click sense something like tableau bi okay something like power bi these are very popular bi products and why do we need bi products because we don't want to write sql queries ourselves big big complex sql queries extract the data and view it and then write python uh we can use matplotlib libraries in python to create a visualization so these guys have created a product and you can create a visualization using drag and drop that means your life is very easy and you can either become lazy or use that time saved in other skills so coming back to question you have bi application it will connect to data source where it connects it connects in data manager you get the data from the data source and you understand the data etc all of those things happen in data manager so add data from data source in data manager preview and associate the data associate means joining then you load the data for this application and so on okay this is how you associate for example orders are linked with products linked with customers linked with employees and so on these are the table views so this entire work is done in data manager in short that is what i want to tell you so we know this is the right choice okay now both c and d have it so what is the difference c is telling that we will select order okay we select order because why why order because we have to do a alphabetical order yeah, you see this so we have to select order but from where this is a difference c says we will select from data profiling card and d says from column header so data profiling card why it is used it is used because you want to have a look at the data to want to you know do a data profiling activity like you want to understand what sort of customers are there is the data complete consistent those kind of things that is where you have to apply the alphabetical order okay column header you you cannot you should not apply there column header so these are column headers you know. so these these are column headers and you can make a selection once in column header no see like here you can search and select it is possible but when we are coding it see here we are coding it coding means we are writing in the back end piece there you have to use a data profiling card only to set this so that people can use it this way so this would be the right answer 
So let us look at this next question. So these are the tables like you have orders. Obviously with orders you will have order details and then you are linking it to a time frame that is master calendar that is your lookup table. And then you are link linking with customers also. Customers like you have a, a base set of customers with which you will link it. This is the question now. So they are linking company name with order ID. Like company here, company name. So company with order ID. This one, order ID. So that is that is proper, right? Because customer ID is the joining key here. Customer ID is the joining key. That should work, but it does not work. It is records are white. It does not work. So similarly year select year and all order id records are gray <laughs> and there are other problems so why is it happening the first one says order id should be key filled in master calendar so this is so wrong guys order id cannot cannot be that it has to be order date because master calendar is all about date 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 time month year it has nothing to do with your order id so common sense okay and then b is saying this is this model is not star, star schema but this model is star schema you have um it's not a total star schema but you have like facts orders already like facts and this is your dimension this also is dimension so this First thing, this is, this is not pure start schema, but see the simple thing is click sense does not say that your model has to be star schema in order to work. That is not a prerequisite. It can work with star schema. It can work with snowflake schema also. It can work with normal flat structure, OLTP like relational structure also. There is no such hard and fast requirement. That's why this reasoning is wrong. Um, D says master calendar should be associated to order details. As a standard practice, we always link it to orders only. Order is the master. Okay. Uh, suppose you have uh, in your neighborhood there is a family. So usually what happens? Uh, only through your parents the acquaintance happens in the initial days. Once you grow old, become big teenager, so even through your the children the equities happens but the primary focus is only through your parents the equities happen order is the parent table this table order is the parent table and this is a child table so the acquaintance with the outside world will only happen through the parent that is the standard practice but d is saying that have the acquaintance with the child so that is wrong okay. that will not work so then we are left with Probably order date fields are of different data types. So this order date here and order date here. Okay. These are of different data types and then hence it is not matching and you are getting this problem. So we need to fix that first. You bring both as same data type, then it will work. Okay. Now let us look at the third question here. So suppose you were working for a retail client in the past. Now you have been asked to work for a banking client. So what that means is that you are not familiar with the data. You don't know their business. So you're not familiar. So what do you do? Then you start using insight advisor. So what the advisor does is it is like an advisor. You it is like you don't know uh, like some of the tax laws you get an advisor right uh, so that is same here also you don't know the data so you take an advisor advisor what it will do it will help you build data model it will help you create visualizations it will help you analyze data and business logic helps uh, inside advisor interpret your data so these many things it will do so if you see uh, you can search analyze tab you can you know choose the analysis types 
if there is advisor chat associated with insights and so on you also have chart suggestions hey you know what don't with these data sets use this chart type so chart types can be sometimes in the bi world no if you are not from the bi world what happens is sometimes we feel will bar chart will be the right way to uh, represent this data should i use a pie chart and etc so here insight says okay boss i know you are new to this game i will help you out and it will give you recommendations so how it does it because there is some a bit of ai already built in the software so using that ai it is able to tell you that use this chart this chart will look good and etc and so on now the question is saying everything is fine what you should do to add visualizations to a sheet what do you should do to so click generate insight to find visualizations so see if you are using an advisor let's use its recommendation no? so we will use generate insights and see what visualization recommendation comes and we will add that to the sheet so if it says hey you know what bar chart is good enough for you so we will then add that bar chart in our report in our sheet okay this is our answer see b use the selection tool to find visualization i don't know what is a selection tool suppose you also don't know i don't need to know man see if i have been given an advisor why will i use a brain my brain now i'm already using an advisor i'm already paying money for that then why will i see i have taken a driver i have a chauffeur i am paying the money per month if that is the case why will i drive unless it is absolutely critical driver has not come accept that why will i drive so by the way i like driving man and i don't have a chauffeur it's too expensive to maintain a driver so but then it's all about whether you like driving or not i just love driving man different cars i just love driving so i sometimes take my friend's car Uh, then i try to see if i am able to adjust to it so that is good same way it says use smart search to find visualization but i will not do that work i have paid you the money i will not do that work second uh, drag and drop fields on workspace and then see why will i create drag and drop and etc why will i create so when i already told you i am not familiar with the data then why will i use these options this is the answer so friends please subscribe help us improve our subscription base the subscription base is not very strong and it will help you also you will stay tuned you will get alerts when we post latest content these are all latest certification contents okay and then there is a link in the description become a cloud kernel member or a cloud ninja member and uh, cloud ninja like you have content for advanced certifications also but if you are short on money and you are only looking for basic and intermediate certification go for cloud kernel so this brings us to the end of part 1 this is a important certification for business analysts bi developers now many people say hey i am already a bi developer i don't need to learn click no boss you need to learn click you need to learn power bi you have to have multiple skills you need to learn thought spot also and then people who are like fresh from college and etc use this these tools are very easy to use very easy to get jobs and uh, very easy to establish credentials in the organization because you don't need coding here it is drag and drop you just need back end data analysis skills you can develop that it's very interesting so see you in the next part